Hi guys, it's Susan. Welcome to episode number four of Fresh Takes and Mistakes, a new vlog where we're going to discuss weight loss, fitness, and all the messy mind stuff in between. Now, before I get started on episode number four, I do want to point out, I know I haven't posted in a bit, and I want to thank everybody who's been paying attention. I'm sorry about the confusion about when things were going to be posted. I do think I'm going to stick to one post a week. We've got a little bit going on, and until things pick up a little bit, or slow down a little bit, rather, um, I do think I'm going to stick with one vlog a week, but I hope you guys will keep looking out because I love you guys, and I appreciate you guys, and I really hope that I'm able to help in some small way. So thank you so much for paying attention, and let's get started on today's vlog. So today I want to talk about indulgences, the do's and the don'ts. So for me, since I've started this journey, I have had, I probably, they probably like a million indulgences, to be honest with you, because really, like, what is life if you don't indulge? So the do's and don'ts of indulgences for me, mainly I would say is do. But if you have a problem with indulgences or you have a problem with binge eating, it might help to ask yourself why you want to indulge. So one of the reasons why you might want to indulge is that you're hungry. If you're cutting back on calories, or you're exercising a lot more and still cutting back on calories, you really might not be eating enough. So if you think you're really actually hungry, my recommendation isn't necessarily to indulge in something frivolous like a cupcake or a cookie. I would say go ahead and have like a small meal, like a real meal. So maybe some rice and some chicken or um, some green beans. I love if I'm hungry and I want something small but nutritious, I'll eat carrots and um, like light creamy Caesar or a nice new thing that I really like is balsamic vinaigrette uh, light with some cucumbers. So that's really good. Uh, also, rice is easy always. Um, I do little rice bowls with ground turkey um, and my taco seasoning. So little rice bowls are nice. Um, stuff like that is really good, especially if you're hungry. You do want to probably put a little bit of protein in there if you're like really hungry because protein is going to fill you up more. So if you're hungry, that's what you want to do. Try not to indulge in any kind of sugary snacks, fudge rounds, ice cream, cookies, if you're really actually hungry because you're probably not going to be filled up. And if you are, it's going to be for a very short period of time and you want to try to hold off. Not because you don't want to eat, but because you want to nurture your body and you want to put nutrition into your body. So that's number one. The next reason for an indulgence would be because you're having a craving. And for the most part, I would say if you're having a craving, go ahead and indulge and then move on. After you've indulged in what you're wanting, a cupcake, a cookie, an ice cream, a, a brownie, whatever the case may be, move on and leave it in the past. Enjoy the cookie, the cupcake, the brownie, the ice cream, whatever a case may be, the cookies or the chips or whatever, and then move on. <clears throat> Because if you're dwelling on it, you're probably going to binge eat um, if you are a binge eater and then make yourself feel even more miserable. Especially if you're one of those people where you're like, oh, I ate the cupcake, I ruined my day, so now I need to just eat everything because tomorrow I'm going to be back on it and I'm never going to get a cupcake again. That's not true. You're going to have another cupcake. And if your mindset is you're not going to have a cupcake when you're trying to lose weight, you're probably going to fail. So allow for indulgences, indulge, and move on. The other thing I would say about craving indulgences is if you try to avoid it most of the time, for me and for some people that I've talked to about this, I tend to end up eating around it if I try to avoid it. So there might be a cupcake in the break room or a pizza in the break room or something and I'm like, oh, I'm hungry, but I don't want to eat that pizza. So I'm going to have pop chips and then I still want the pizza. So now I'm going to have peanuts or oh no, I still want the, peanut, the pizza, so I'm going to have a protein bar or whatever the case is. You're having a craving for the pizza. So if you just have the pizza, you have those calories and you move on. But if you try to eat around it, then you might end up eating double, triple, quadruple those same calories trying to avoid that one thing that you think is so bad. If you think of it this way, food isn't bad. Food is food. Food is fuel. So don't think of any food like it's bad. Obviously, you can't live on pizza or cookies, but if you want to indulge on pizza and cookies, indulge on it and move on. Don't dwell and don't eat around it because that's not helping you at all. The last reason that you might want to indulge is boredom. And I know that that is something that definitely I have struggled with. I'm sure a lot of people struggle with. And the way that I have found to avoid um, indulging because of my boredom is finding something to do drinking water or going to bed. I find that at nighttime while I'm watching TV or sitting around or whatever talking, I may want to snack and indulge in something like chips and salsa. I'm like addicted to chips and salsa now, which is weird because I was never a chip person before. I'm addicted to chips and salsa now. 
but you didn't ask me about my cravings. Anyway, moving on. Uh, I will catch myself really, really wanting to just snack on something. And you know, when we get to snacking on something like that, we just like, you just, you're mindlessly pulling out of a bag and just shoving into your face. And I find a lot of the time my issue there is that I'm tired. Like I might just need to go to bed. So if you go to bed, or if you find yourself getting more and more hungry at nighttime, it might be that you need to go to bed and you're not getting enough sleep or you're not getting good enough sleep or you're not sleeping when you should be sleeping. So that could be the case. If you're really genuinely bored and you're looking like the middle of the day and it's really not time for bed or whatever the case may be, my recommendation to you is to get a hobby, find something else to do, clean, take a nice bath, read. Um, I don't really recommend sitting in front of the TV because sitting in front of the TV just makes me want to eat. So I don't really recommend doing that. Uh, go for a bike ride, go outside, take pictures. You know, when I walk um, on my lunch breaks or if I walk just here, I always find something, especially if I'm really not on my phone, um, I always find things that I want to take pictures of and that's become a new hobby of mine. So that might be something you like. Um, play with new makeup or rearrange your bedroom or whatever the case may be. If you can find something else to do because you're genuinely bored and you need something to do, um, if you want to, you really can find something else to do. So my recommendation would be to find something else to do. Um, and then of course, drinking water, like I said, always makes me feel better. It makes me feel more full. Even if I'm just craving something because I'm bored, drinking water, um, that becomes a habit. So for me, when I'm bored and, or I have a free minute, I'm drinking a lot of water. So you're kind of doing something double there. You're hydrating, which we all need to be doing more often. I can tell you the bajillions of people I've talked to about, probably not bajillions, but probably 90% of them already know that they're not drinking enough water. So killing two birds, one stone, drink some water. If you're bored, you're hydrating and you're not eating. Anyway, I wanted to talk a little bit about indulgences because I really am a firm believer that for the most part, if you're indulging in something because you're craving it, it's not going to hurt you. Your body does crave these things uh, for a reason. And again, indulgences, indulgences <laughs> are not evil. They're not the devil. They're not something that you want to avoid at all costs. Um, what is life without a cupcake every once in a while? But you may want to indulge for other reasons. So... I would say if you are bored or if you're genuinely hungry, you probably shouldn't eat a cupcake. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. I'm um, sorry if I was talking a little bit fast. I just worked out, so I'm like pumped. But <laughs> anyway, guys, you have a great day and tune in next week on Thursday for episode five of Fresh Takes and Mistakes. Bye, guys.